Hey guys, I am going to do a video. Some a love mail video if I can talk. So everything has been opened in here, but I put it back in the box because after I open it, I'm like crap. I should have done an op love mail opening video. But this is my Christmas present from Crystal from Life with Crystal. It got here a little bit after Christmas, but I was able to open it. My kids got their gifts from Crystal and they opened them right away. And so I was able to um, record that and send it to her. And then I started opening these and then I'm like, like I said, like I'm like, it was a, oh crap, I should have done this on camera video. But, so she's not going to see my initial reactions, but I did end up sending her some of them. So, uh, I'm going to lift off the bubble wrap and the paper and you'll see a few of the things. So this was from Diana. I'm Crystal's friend. I am in love with this. I have a, a bountiful baby toddler that I do need to eventually get reborn so this will be perfect for that baby. So it's size 12 months. It's a first impressions. It's a beautiful um, yellow like swing top and it's got these buttons and the or snaps in the front with some yellow bows down it and then it's got a little daisy um, applique embroidered and then it's got this little bee embroidered on it and then another daisy and another bee on the top and the daisies are like a white and yellow plaid so it comes with these little booties that are that white and yellow plaid with the little yellow bows. And then the bloomers to go with it are white and yellow plaid. So I thought that was super cute. And like I said, I've got this bountiful baby toddler that I want to get um, eventually reborn as likeness of my daughter. So I got my um, Maddie Brown reborn my Sean in the image of my son at three months old and so the bountiful baby toddler kit that I have I think it's ladybug it's either kitty or ladybug I can't remember which one I got for my daughter I think I have both um I think it was ladybug that I thought looked most like my daughter it's supposed to be a um nine month size nine to twelve month size toddler It'll be the size of my daughter at almost two because my son was huge as a baby and my daughter was born a good size, but then she just didn't grow. Um, literally her first birthday, she's wearing um, a onesie that's nine months in size and she was drowning in it. I have a dress of hers that she that was six months size that we started putting on her when she started wearing six months size at a year old. She wore that dress up to almost three. I mean, it turned into being almost a tunic on her instead of a dress, but that's how tiny she was. Um, so that was from Diana. That will be for that baby. Um, then next, there was this cute little white llama plush. Of course, Crystal had to include a llama. Um, there were these really cute booties, um, booty socks. They are... Um, pink like socks and they're made to look up like ballet slippers and the ballet slipper part is like a gold not a gold a gray with silver glitter in it and then it's got a gray silver glitter bow on it and then um, I keep forgetting to take these out put those with my daughter's American Girl earrings um then there was this outfit and I thought this is adorable I can't wait to put it on Macy. This is a fleece romper, footless romper. It is child of mine. It's three to six months, so it'll fit Macy. It's got the zipper down the front that goes all the way to the crotch. It is this really pretty, um, almost like a seafoam green with white hearts, and it's got this really cute llama applique on it. And then another thing for Macy, I just love these. This is 
George baby. It's zero to three months, but it's a large zero to three months. Um, it is the sleeper. And it's got all these woodland creatures on it. It's got a bunny, a raccoon right there. I'm pointing to the fox saying raccoon. A squirrel on it and it's gray and the animals are kind of like a darker gray with pink hearts and pink accents and around the neck and wrists are pink. I thought this was really cute. I love that and it's a lightweight one. I don't think Macy has a much lightweight clothes. Or not clothes, pajamas. And then this will fit my neonates. This is size newborn. This is a fleece sleeper. It is gray with um, like scalloped around the neck that is kind of a blush color. And then it buttons down the front and it's got two little blush bows. And then it's got these cute little blush colored llamas all over it. And then the feet are little blush llamas. This will be so cute. So I've got uh, one llama out or one llama pajamas um, for my neonates or my baby think it overs. I think I just have the two out now. I believe I put the other ones away. But when I pull them out again, I have sleepers. Right now, like I said, I think I just left the two out. When I took all my babies out, I think I packed a few of them away just to make room in our room. Um, in an upcoming video, there's another reason why I've been packing kind of my babies away. Now, I'm not having a baby. That's not why I'm packing them away. It's just I want to keep them protected from something. So a few of you already know what it is. Um, then there is this out oh, or this sleeper that she got for Sean. It's baby George again. And it's got red around the neck and the wrists. It's a sleeper. It's like a cobalt blue type color and it's got like little spaceships and the moon and some planets and stars all over it i just love that he, he kind of has okay macy is kind of my llama girl well sean does have some llama stuff it's mamas are primarily macy sean is kind of a space theme um what's and then both of them have the bees so i love this for him and then I had bought this for myself and she told me to take it back. And you've probably seen this on her channel because I saw it on her channel and that's when I went and bought it. It is a Carter's Child of Mine. It's three to six months. So first off is the hooded um, sweatshirt. So it's a green, gray, and like a tannish brown stripe. And it's got this really cute gray little... Um, raccoon on the one side and then the onesie to go with it is white with little raccoons and trees all over it and then it comes with some jegging type pants so they're made to look like jeans but they're more of a a sweatshirt type material on the insides I don't know what you'd call these Jewets because girls the leggings and jeans are called jeggings Maybe they're called jets Maybe we just came up with a new term, but they are super cute They're like a dark dark blue which is really nice because I do have a few pair of jeans for him But because of the way his legs are it's kind of hard to squeeze him in and out of it So this will be nice for like just even other onesies So I have something to match this I'm going to pull out and put in a haul because that I purchased from her. And then she got me this super cute shirt for myself. And the cat was on it. There's a fuzzy. It's this really bright yellow and it's got a B on it and it says happy. So it is B happy. I love this shirt. Okay, that was what I got in. And then the card is... Um, Fella Lella Llama, and it's got this really cute llama um, on it. It's a almost it's a fuzzy llama, and the llama has a gift on it, and is wearing these red glasses that are kind of hieroglyphic, and there is some red pom poms on it, 
and I'm not going to show it because it's got names in it and it has, I know this is not a Christmas card, but you know I couldn't resist, laugh out loud. Wishing you all a very Merry Christmas and a much happier New Year. Stay safe and well. Love and hugs, Crystal, Alex, and Riley. So that is a super cute little card. And then she knows what I'm leaving for last because I laughed hysterically when I saw it. She got me this really beautiful um, bee necklace. It's on like a gold chain. And it's got like a black pennant with a little golden bee in it. She got me a box of Smarties. They are limited edition A. A. Smarties. So they're red and white Smarties and they've got the Canadian maple leaf on it. For those that have never had Canadian Smarties, you are missing out. These are by far my favorite candy. Like, even compared to U.S. candies, these are by far my favorite candy. Um, so Crystal usually includes them in my Christmas gift because she knows I love them. One year she sent me like two huge bags for Christmas. Um, she also got me this um, beautiful... Open it up because it's... On a squish, it's a keychain. My keychain is over. There we go. Oh, I think it can be a brooch too. So it is this gold bee, black and yellow bee that is blinged out. So it can be a keychain, and I'm thinking. With this pin, it can be a brooch. I think it can. I think we're going to take this off. And this is the brooch pin that you use in the bee's wings, I'm assuming. That's really pretty. And then she got me a bee mask because what would it be? without 2020 and getting a mask. Then there's also these really cute golden bee hair clips. She got me some delectable body lotion and sweet mint smell. Sounds good. Something smells like baby powder in here all of a sudden, and I don't know why. And then she also gave us one of these. It's a cat selfie. I have already used it, and my cats do. She had gotten one for Riley, and Riley wouldn't play it, pay attention to it. Like, even ringing it now, Jack's over there looking at me. So it already works on my cats. And then lastly... When I opened this one, I laughed hysterically. I still laugh seeing it. I put it on my tree right away so it went and came out of the box. It is a Canadian milk bag in its jug Christmas ornament. So, for those that do not know, a lot of places in Canada, their milk comes in plastic bags. They buy a... You can, I think you can buy one, but typically you buy them a bigger bag, plastic bag, of three smaller plastic bags. And each plastic bag is a liter. So you buy three liters at a time. And then you have this special pitcher that you put your bag in. So when you store the bags, I know, I think Crystal has one. I I grew up in North Dakota and that's at the Canadian border. In fact, a lot of people think North Dakota is part of Canada. But at least twice a year, my family and I would go up to Winnipeg. Um, and we had lots of friends in Winnipeg and we would stay with them. One set of our friends had it this and some didn't. The other set didn't because we would kind of switch. That's why we would usually go up twice a year because we'd stay with one friend one time and we'd stay with the other friend the other time. So it's like this plastic container that's kind of rectangular it fits these bags in it so you can lay the bags flat 
in this container to store them. And then when you go to use it, you have this pitcher. And I don't know if you can see on it. The one corner is kind of pointy. This corner over here is kind of pointy. And this one is not because the bag has been cut open. So this is the open side. This is the unopened side. And then you pour your milk out. So you can see the white line would be where the milk is. And that would just be the clear bag up on top. So I laughed hysterically. When I don't know why, like Crystal's showing in videos their milk bags. And every time I see them, I laugh. And both Crystal and I watch the Dad Challenge podcast. And he's a Canadian as well. And in a few videos, he has shown his bag of milk. And every time I see it, I laugh. And she'll, you saw it, didn't you? And I'm like, and you know I was laughing. So I thought, I, I laughed hysterically when I opened this up. I actually had to Google to show my kids what I was talking about. Because they were so confused. They're like, Mom, why does the Kool-Aid pitcher have white Kool-Aid in it and a plastic bag, but it says milk on it? Like, they were so confused, so I had to show them what it was. I love this. I absolutely love it. And I laughed when I opened it up. I laugh every time I see it on the tree. I just love this ornament. Everything Crystal got me this year was fantastic. And what Diana got me was fantastic. But this, this right here, this little milk, ja, or milk pitcher with its bag of milk in it, is the best present ever. I think this is the best Christmas present period I got. So thank you so much, Crystal. And thank you, Diana. And I know you guys are seeing this video a little bit after Christmas. Like I said, we got it after Christmas. Um, I'm actually had got videos ahead. I'm going to have them a little bit ahead because kids are going to start school soon. And as of right now, they will be starting school on the day they're supposed to be coming back from Christmas break, back and in, in person. But that can change at any moment because numbers are going up. Our school over Christmas break, we've only got a notification that one child has tested positive. Even over Christmas break, they still want parents to notify. Um, so only one child, at least one family, has notified the school. I don't know if any others haven't. But anyways, thank you, thank you so much, Crystal. Um, my kids will be going back. Or what I was saying before, the kids are going to be going back as of now, but you never know when that's going to change. So thank you so much, Crystal, for the gifts. Thank you, Diana. And I will see everyone in the next video. Bye.